Hey guys, Harmony 99 VR here. And I'm going to be showing you how to get Ocarina Code Manager for your computer. Well, the the computer program, not the homebrew program, but I might be showing a video on homebrew. So you click on the link in the description and it'll take you to the whole YouTube redirect and it says, "Do you want to open or save this file?" And then you hit save. But I already have it. So just save it. And then you install it and go through the whole steps. And you install it to your desktop. And once you install it to your desktop, your icon would, will be this code manager. Uh, you can't read the words, but that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be this gray skull. And then what you want to do is you're going to click on it. Hold up. Mine's still loading. I got it a really long time ago, though. So it's going to open this. It's main page. What you're going to do is put your game ID in. Like, I don't know what, I don't know all of them, but I know Black Ops is SC7E52 for the US version. And then and you put in the game ID, and then you put in the game name. For instance, I'll put um, Black Ops. Just don't spell it all crappy like that, but I just put it for testing. So then what you're going to do is you're going to want to create a code. And you hit um, add code slash comic slash category, and it'll bring you to this right here. And whatever your code's name is, like mine's this hop code. Because I'm um, hopping account code for Black Ops. You'll hit OK. And then you'll click on it up here. It's going to pop out right here if you saved it. And then right here, what you want to do is you're going to want to have a code on. Uh, you're gonna wanna have a code on pay, copy paste. So get where's my hop code? Hold up. You're gonna wanna open a notepad or get a code from somewhere that you have on your computer. And in this case, my I'm gonna use my hop code. So get you're gonna wanna like you know you copy it, right click, copy, and then you're gonna minimize or whatever. And then you go to your code manager, and then you hit paste. And then you're, it's already the code is already there, and then you're gonna want to hit store modifications, and then this will pop up data stored, and then you do it to all the codes you want, and they'll all be right here. And what you want to do is check the little box that means that it's working, and then you put your SD card in, like inside your computer, and then but I don't have my name, I'm just showing you. you hit this, and then you just hit yes if you. And then you didn't save it. Just say yes. And then right here, um, you're gonna wanna click this down thing. And then choose your SD card drive, like whatever drive it is. And just hit store. And it'll store it. And then you load it through Gecko Manager on your homebrew channel. Alright, and look, watch. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit save as, you're gonna hit file and save as text file and then you click wherever you want to save it I'm going to put desktop and I'll put test and you type in what you wanted to call it and then where you want to save it and then you hit save and then look at it saves onto your desktop so mine is test right here so you guys can't read that it's right here I'm moving it around alright and then once you save it you know, you do the whole gecko thing. But, um, if you want to, like, watch. So, like, if you open it and you don't want to, like, you don't know what to do, you go to File, and then Open Text File. And then you go to where you saved it, and then you click on what you called it, and then you hit Open, and then all your codes will be here that you have on. You know what I mean? But, for example, mine is, um, this is the one I use for Black Ops. And so get all my codes are on. Alright, see you guys next time. I'll be showing how to get Gecko OS. Alright, bye.